everybody. Me, Wilson here with another fantastic electronic unicycle video. Today, I'm just going to talk about safety gear real quick. You might have noticed I'm wearing a, a lazy rolling performance hoodie. And I gotta say, pretty damn good. Shout out to customer service at Lazy Rolling. You hooked me up with a large instead of a medium. You were able to pull through. Thank you very much. And we also got ourselves some elite shin guards. So let's talk about safety gear. If you're riding an electric unicycle, you definitely need safety gear. At a minimum, you're going to need a helmet, some wrist guards, and you can also get some shin pads, but you can also get some knee pads and some elbow pads. The lazy rolling hoodie is perfect because it has all of the upper body armor except for the the, the chest. But you also get back uh, armor, and shoulder armor on these hoodies. So that's pretty damn cool. It's just you basically put it on and you're all set. Are we ready? Let's do this. Yeah, that's better. Stop. Here we go. All right, look at this. Pine cones, leaves. Gotta be careful of those on the wheel. Look at all these pine cones, man. So, this is why it's good to wear protective gear. You lose your balance, you lose stability on the wheel especially over things like this and you're going to have a bad time you're going to fall down and bust your ass most important thing is to protect your head you need to protect your head I definitely recommend a full face helmet you're also going to go forward if you are going to fall off this thing most likely and you're going to need shoulder protection you need to protect your shoulders uh, there's a good chance that you might hit your chest, so getting some good solid chest protection will be nice to have. A lot of people just gear up. They 100% gear up. Full body suits. Also, you're going to need wrist guards. I have wrist guards underneath. And for the life of me, I haven't been able to get the Flatland 3D gloves. I heard those are really good gloves to have. They're e-skate gloves, but they're all sold out. So I have these basic wrist protectors on so if I do fall forward and I need to put my hands out <laughs> we just hope we don't get a big hospital bill right so let's go over to the shin and knee guard well the shin and knee guards are going to be good because when you fall forward you have the sliding ability you can slide on these things these are really nice and I'm just going to show you a little bit of that here in a minute. You want to invest in yourself. You want to invest in your safety. So that's why I've chosen to invest in this uh, lazy rolling hoodie. Just for comfort style and all that good stuff. All right, here we go. Going into the turn. Alright, so we got some acorns up here. And you know I love acorns. I haven't slid in on them yet. But never say never. Whoa. Now we got tons of pine cones. Oh, you just missed it. Not pine cones, uh, acorns. Damn it, when I need to show acorns, it doesn't show up. There's a bump. Alright. So I'm gonna find a nice quiet place to demonstrate the
I have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, so, we gotta find a quiet place. And I think we can go up here by the school. Or maybe not, because school's getting out. I got an idea. We're gonna do a little off-roading, guys. Up, my friends. I'm back. Okay, so let's put this down for a minute. Hello. So these are the leak dual access unisex shin guard and knee pads. As you see, if you're bending your knee, it bends with you. So there's some Velcro adjustments here, like right here. And when you're done making your adjustments on the shin pads, you can just snap off these connectors. So you don't have to worry about sizing them ever again. You just clip them on, clip them on. So they're pretty snug. I have these over my clothes and they stay pretty snug. I haven't had any issues so far with that. So, now, with this lazy rolling hoodie, there's armor. There's some shoulder pads, there's some elbow pads, and uh, there's a, some back pads. And you can choose to have them already pre-installed for you. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Pretty comfortable, it's pretty warm. It's, it's like 50 degrees out right now, but it's pretty warm. Um, I probably could have gone with a medium because uh, the shoulder pads don't really sit flush on my shoulder. They kind of sit backwards a little bit. But for the most part, it's pretty good. It has a little hook where you can uh, put your thumb in like this. It's not too bad. It's worth the price. There's cheaper options though. You can, you can buy a a bodysuit that you can put underneath a shirt and then you can wear a regular hoodie if you want to i've done that as well but i like the convenience factor where you basically can just put on a hoodie and you're all set to go so again thank you lazy rolling hoodie i think i want to ride by the school but i don't know man so i think i'm just gonna make this a short video because I just want to just stress that you need to wear safety gear, especially if you're just doing small little runs on the road. You know, if you're going out for five minutes, you know, it might be questionable whether or not you want to wear safety gear, but I think you should, guys. You really should. Um, I'm not going to name any names out there, but that has happened to a couple people who just go out for five minutes. They're doing a little, little ride around a block or something, and you can get a nasty fall so again wear safety gear guys suit up and be happy this is wilson signing out be good